So yesterday, Igbo people were trending for different reasons. The conversation started from a tweet by Ada Osiso Eko, um, where she said, we are not, quote, we are not ready to discuss how Igbo babes legit leave their boyfriends to marry their husbands. You will be dating someone and boom. Igbanko buzi next week. No girls at all. Beautiful, heartless queens, end of quote. Now, many people jumped on that to share their experiences and the conversations moved on to Igbo apprenticeship. Popular Nigerian blogger Noble Igwe in a tweet said, and quote, they won't tweet that the Igbo apprenticeship had boys forgetting the idea of going to school so that the scanty resources would be used to send their younger ones to school and with the hope that Mwa boy will become successful and uplift his family. The Igbo apprenticeship was designed for the rich to take out families from poverty. Um, okay, that's a lot of Igbo, but something like Igbo boy is like Ikumwa, both designed with a settlement plan at the end of it all. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so um, on this one, I think it's um, how do I say it now? I think it's there's an element of truth in it, but I think it's um, across all ethnic groups. It's not just the. Mm, if we're talking about Igbo people today now. Yes, but I'm just saying that it's not just the Igbo people. I'm, Are you I saying think... this apprenticeship thing is like a national thing? Mm -hmm. If you ask me, because we have Yoruba people too that go to go and learn different trades and then the girls get to go to school and then so that they can take care of the family. But I totally agree with Nobu Igwe on this one. I think it was completely I have correct. to agree that it's a national thing, but I think for Igbos it's a lot, lot more, more common yeah, true, and it's something true. that's, I think, wired in um, culture as well, which is why I would give it to them if they're going to own that thing. Because I think Yoruba's tend to do more school for everyone than mm. just um, um, males. But Igbos are a lot more apparent. Like, I know, uh, something I, I used to say in, in uni, like, all my friends that were Igbos, their dads were uneducated. Most of them, mm. their dads were uneducated. It was like a thing. But they sent them to really good schools that way. And they, what, the mothers would be educated. What I have to say is, like, I, I, I know people don't really hear this part of feminism, but this is also a feminist problem. Um, when one um, gender is oppressed, the other is overwhelmed. That's just what you have. So the only thing I'm going to disagree with is that... Um, I, think, I still think that women should be given the choice to also choose whether or not they want to do apprenticeship or whether or not they want to go, go to school. I, I, find it, uh, I find it to be wrong if you're going to force every single man to go and look for money outside and then force every girl to be at home. I think it should be equal, again, which is the core of the movement. It should be equal for everyone to have the choice because not every girl wants to sit at home and I'm sure not every guy wants to go um, work in an apprenticeship thing and go home. But it is a problem for men. You and know, I think that there's an overwhelming responsibility placed on men, especially in this country. You, and it's breeding very entitled women and it's breeding very like overwhelmed toxic masculine uh, masculine men in the country so i have to agree with what um noble, um, noble is saying but i don't i don't think that then because i his tone is kind of giving me like then we have a bigger problem i don't think they have a bigger problem i think it's a, just a general problem well, i hope you also know that um in most cases when these men are being sent out to go and learn different trades is because they cannot afford to send the both of them to school so one person so goes, one person to, school goes to school and then while you are working you're sending money home to school to train the other person. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's 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 a sacrifice. sacrifice. Yes. Mm. Anyway, let's take some reactions. At Ogbeni Dipo says they practice that should that this is a practice that should be taught at Harvard and other world class business schools. By the way, Nigerians, specifically Igbos who have the first hand knowledge are the ones who sh who should write the stories, turn them to case studies and propagate them. The world will listen. Achuka Obi says at age eight we moved to Folaguru to a house owned by an Igbo businessman. Almost all the other eight flats were occupied by his former Nwa boys, who now had Nwa boys of their own. It was an education. It always reminded me of Jacob serving Laban and waiting for Laban to settle him. And the final one we can take is Okonkwo Ikenna. He says, when I gained admission into university was the same time my cousin started going to shop with his dad. We spent same um, duration in both pursuits. Today, he wants to buy Uber for me to drive. There is something they teach them in the Igbo apprentice that you can't learn outside. Yeah. And I don't think that's fair to restrict it to gender. I think everyone needs that kind of skill. Because I, I've seen Igbo boys that are not good at doing business. So. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, they are terrible. And I feel like if you... So you're saying they should give more of the opportunity. I, I think you because should. I don't think it's, it's, it's never... It's, it's, I don't think it's a choice thing. It's a case of, okay, you are the man. 
go which and is where the problem send the girl lies. to school yes. or something like that because i know men that are very inclined to do apprenticeship and i don't think they have any space for school to be honest they do really bad at school but they fix everything in the house but i know women just like that mm. and then they do bad at school so i think it should be the convert this this to me is really good because maybe not in nigeria but a lot of other developed countries really value um hand work like plumbing electrician all that type of stuff like it's an important skill but then i think that it shouldn't be about males it should be about like listening Everybody. to your children what's their strengths and then whoever can go outside like in my house i'm not even going to lie i feel like if you put this situation in my house i should be the one doing apprenticeship not my brothers i'm telling you like they're just better at my, okay my, the one brother is, is good with like um it and whatever and doesn't want to be in the sun mm. or whatever but i well, like it, the, the getting hands dirty thing is not necessarily um fixing things actually most times it's just container has landed they are selling it's business it is pure calculation mm. so you are there being the person working with the big boss for i think it's usually seven years actually so after seven years he has to give you a substantial amount of money that would set you up that's mm. rent your shop stock up your shop and set you up in your own line of business but, so it's not actually but can you not see how that's a big that. problem yeah. because then if you are empowering men Whatever your reasons are, if you empower women to well, stand women alone, to but you're not empowering women to stand alone, and that's why there's an obsession with marriage. Because if I don't tap into your blessing, going I'm going to be stuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sitting now you you love the um, idea or the system, but you want them to extend it yes. to the to women, women as, as well. well. Okay.